Okay, and welcome to our next posting in the posture exercise series brought to you by posture-exercises.blogspot.com. Uh, today we're going to look at stretching the hamstrings. The hamstrings are a group of muscles located at the back of your thigh. They run from the bottom of the pelvis bone, pelvic bone, to the shin bones. Uh, these muscles include the semitendinosus and semimembranosus, which insert onto the inside of the main shin bone, also known as the tibia. And then on the outside of the, the back of the thigh, we have the biceps femoris, which inserts into the head of the fibula, which is the, the bony bit on the outside of your knee. Now, the reason the hamstrings are important when it comes to posture is that they can affect the tilt of the pelvis but they can also affect proper functioning at the hip joint as well as the knee joint. Some other notes about stretching the hamstrings is that the a hamstring stretch can also affect the sciatic nerve. Uh, the sciatic nerve is one of the main nerves of your legs that goes from the lower back down into the leg. So that is why sometimes when you may have tried a hamstring stretch, you've also got a sensation of a, a pulling in your either your back gluteal area, which is the backside area, or in your calf. That's probably not a hamstring stretch since the hamstring only goes from the pelvis to the knee. Uh, to get a true hamstring stretch, you should only feel it at the back of the, th the, th the thigh. And so to make sure that you're getting a true hamstring stretch, you need to have the correct position of the, the pelvis and the knee. So here's a, some common mistakes with hamstring stretchings because you, you do hear people mention that you know I've got chronically tight hamstrings, I've been stretching my hamstrings and it doesn't make any difference. If we look at the picture on the left we can see that you know they're probably getting that sensation of, of uh, a stretch in the back of the thigh but as you can see from the curvedness of their lower back that they they are stretching more than the hamstring they're also stretching the nerve so the the hamstring itself may not be the the limiting factor here uh, it may be the, the the stretching of the nerve that's stopping this person from from going further if we look at the the picture here on the right we see see a better performance of the hamstring as we're keeping the back in a more neutral position and therefore more likely to be stretching the true hamstring and, and affecting its length. Okay, so let's look at the, the two methods we have uh, recommended here. Uh, the first one is, is lying the, in the on the floor in a doorway. Notice how the, the back stays in a neutral position. You have one leg up on the, up on the, the doorway and one on the floor and uh, you scoot the back side closer to the wall to increase the stretch. So let's have a look at that one. Okay, and the second way is uh, more handy, you know, if you, especially if you need to do stretches during the day. It's done in a standing position with the hands against the wall. Once again, focusing on keeping the back in a neutral position, bending forward, making sure that the pel it's the pelvis that's tilting forward. It's not the uh, the back, so that we get a true stretch of the hamstring. So let's have a look at that one. And there we go, so there are a couple of ways to stretch the hamstrings. For more posture tips and exercises, uh, make sure you visit us at posture-exercises.blogspot.com.